A few days back, we reported on what the world can expect from the new Prime Minister of Japan, Yoshihide Suga. Tonight, I have a very significant development to share with you. The former Prime Minister of Japan, Yoshiro Mori, is in Taipei. He is there to attend a memorial service for former Taiwanese President Li Tenghui. He met the current president, Tsai Ing-wen, at the presidential palace shortly after his arrival. He said that he was in Taiwan at the instruction of Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga and that Japan shares the same values of freedom and democracy as Taiwan. Listen to this. Prime Minister Suga called me yesterday morning and he told me that he hopes Taiwan and Japan will continue our exchanges safely and smoothly and that the relationship will be closer in the future. We treasure and share the same value and concept of freedom, democracy and free economy with Taiwan. Just as you said, I hope that we and our government will make the efforts together to push for further development of the two countries in all fields. And Japan is not the only one to have sent its representative for this ceremony. The U.S. Under Secretary for Economic Affairs is also in Taipei. These high-profile visits seem to have rattled China. This morning, at least 18, 18 Chinese aircraft crossed the Taiwan Strait to send a message to the Taiwanese leadership. Beijing says that any foreign interference in its One China principle is doomed to fail. This report tells you more. Seventeenth September, Taiwan gets its second high-level visit by an American official in less than two months. Keith Krach, the U.S. Undersecretary for Economic Affairs, lands in Taipei. He is the highest-ranking State Department official to visit the island in 40 years. The U.S. government says he is there to attend a memorial service in honor of former Taiwanese President Li Tenghui. But thousands of miles away in Beijing, the Chinese Communist Party sees the visit as yet another violation of its One China principle. September the 18th, Friday. 18 PLA aircraft take flight and cross the sensitive midline of the Taiwan Strait. This includes two H-6 bombers, eight F-16 fighter jets, four J-11 fighters, and four J-10 fighter jets. The Taiwanese government scrambles its jets in response and urges China to not be a provocateur in the region. The Chinese Defense Ministry says this was just a trailer. Starting today, the Eastern Theater Command of the Chinese People's Liberation Army has organized actual combat exercises near the Taiwan Strait. This is a legitimate and necessary action taken in response to the current situation across the Taiwan Straits to safeguard national sovereignty and territorial integrity. Taiwan is a sacred and inalienable part of China's territory. The Taiwan issue is purely China's internal affair and does not allow any foreign interference. This is followed by another warning from the Chinese Foreign Ministry, which says that military drills in the Taiwan Strait have become necessary and that any foreign interference is doomed to fail. This exercise is a legitimate and necessary action taken in response to the current situation in the Taiwan Strait to safeguard national sovereignty and territorial integrity. Taiwan is a sacred and inalienable part of China's territory. The fact is, the United States is gearing up to sell weapons worth $7 billion to Taiwan. This includes up to seven major weapon systems, mines, cruise missiles and drones. This will be one of the biggest American arms sales in Taiwan in recent history. For America, the timing is convenient. The country goes to vote in less than seven weeks. For Taiwan, the timing is critical. 
Chinese warships have been buzzing around Taiwan's coast. And for China, it's a race against time. It cannot afford to let Taiwan slip out of its grip. Bureau Report, we on World is One.